hello and welcome to my youtube channel tech and tips with king in this video i am going to show how you can run blender software in your android using exegear windows emulator application so without any wasting of time let's get into the video so if you want to install blender 3d software in your android so first of all you have to download and install an application called exegear windows emulator so this is the emulator application for android and i have made a separate tutorial video on how you can download install and uh, run exegear windows emulator application in your android so before installing uh, blender 3d and in my previous video i've already uh, shown how you can install ability photoshop auto city fl studio vlc media blender there are a lot of videos on my channel you can check out my channel so before installing blender 3d software you have to install the opengl in your XA gear let me just show you so this is the XA gear opening and launching in Android so this is the uh, XA gear so this is the file manager of the XA gear let me just minimize it and show you this is the control panel so as you can see this is the control panel and as you can see here it will showing exegear open gl virtual graphics so you have to before installing blender 3d you have to install this open gl in your exegear uh, how you can install there are a lot of videos on youtube the other youtubers and show so i have installed this exegear opengl by this youtuber i really thank thanks to this youtuber for providing this exegear opengl virtual graphics so the video link in the description you can check out uh, his channel uh, you can check on his video and you can follow his procedure to install this uh, exegear opengl so you have to install it so now let's ins install the uh, blender so after opening exegear let me just show you after downloading Exegear Windows Emulator application and install it, there are separate tutorial video on my channel and you have to install the uh, Blender portable software so as you can see the, the download link in the description and make sure it will be in the download folder as you can see this is my download folder and if you make sure it will be in the download folder now open the Exegear after opening it will automatically appear in the Exegear software as you can see this is the uh, Blender portable 2.68 for Windows so you have to just launch press on it and just click to open So as you can see the installation process has been started and blender portable it will ask me to select language there are a lot of language you can select them so i am going to select english just click to ok so this is the portable blender portable uh after it's not going to install a separate software in exagir it will uh, installing only the portable and it will create the folder in the download so let me just click uh, show you after installing so just click to next so it will uh, so as you can see here it will sing installing destination folder so it will installing in the d drive and it will require the 100 mb of ram so i have already told you it will not going to install a separate software in exegear it will installing a portable folder from that folder we can open the blender so let me just show you just click to install so as you can see it will installing here it will going to take some time about uh, 5 to 10 minutes uh, maybe it, it depends on smartphone specifications at most time it will only take uh, 2 to 3 minutes or 5 minutes uh, if you have a good uh, smartphone specific smartphone high-end smartphone so let me just uh, skip this part and come back after it fully installed so as you can see it's installed and it's saying uh, completing the blender portable setup so you have to just click on the run blender portable i am selecting this so you can uh, close this and after closing it you can uh, run the blender software i am going to run it and to show you i have just uh, selected this uh, option run blender portable just click to finish so as you can see in the screen the blender is opening at first attempt it will going to take some time to open and after uh, it opened very fast and quick so as you can see 
so the installation process is only for once you did not require to install again and again so make sure before or running or installing the blender software in android exegear you make sure to install the opengl if you want to know about more about opengl and how you how you can install it you can check out the, the other youtuber i have provided the video link in the description so as you can see this is the uh, blender 2.68 So this is the Blender 2.68 portable. So as you can see, after installing, it's been successfully opened here. Let me just show you. Now you can use this Blender in your Android. So as you can see, it's perfectly working. I don't know more about this software, but I've shown you how you can install it. And this is the all the features. So let me know in the comments if it's fully working or not. And there are a lot of uh, upcoming videos on my channel. Uh, I'm upgrading every software after showing this software. So this is the blender to 2.68 version in my upcoming video I try to show the another version upgraded version and the another version I I make a lot of videos on my channel So subscribe to my channel for a lot of upcoming videos. So as you can see this is the blender successfully installed in Android So the thing I'm talking about uh, it will not going to install the separate software in Exegear. It will uh, this is the portable. Let me just show you So will uh, let me just show you in the control panel so there is no software here and in the control panel so as you can see in this control panel there is no uh, blender software appear here because it's not installed it's only extracted and put it in the uh, file manager so as you can see let me just show you so this is the file manager so as you can see it has uh, created the portable uh, blender portable sort uh, folder in android folder as you can see there is at first there is no folder you can check out uh, after installing and extracting it will appear here as you can see so now you can understand uh, the software is not installed the sagir but uh, uh, it in it's in the folder so as you can see so this is the portable version of the blender so as you can see this software is perfectly working so as you can see in the screen the graphics is perfectly working So I have closed the blender software and if I want to again open there is no icon appear on the screen and neither uh, there is so as you can see there is uh, no option available to open the portable uh, blender so don't worry about it let me just show you after installing I have already told you it will uh, create a folder in the D drive so as you can see this is the portable blender so here again you can open the blender software just double tap on the blender soft portable dot exe so as you can see again it will open so as you can see the blender software again open here so you don't need to worry about that after closing it will be in the download folder uh, it will be in the dvd drive always if you delete it from hit here let me just show you if you delete it from here it will always always gone so don't delete it make sure you have always put this uh, folder blender in your download folder so it will appear in the d drive so as you can see it will open open again here so let me just again close it so this is the way you can open after closing the blender software you don't need to worry about that so as you can see this is the blender for fully perfectly running in android so that's it for this video thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel like this video share this video if you're getting any problem, let me know in the comments. Thank you.